Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are sharing with you all of the Amtrak food options. We love riding Amtrak trains and one of the big things that's part of the experience is food and eating on the train. So <laughs> We're gonna break down all your options, no matter what train and what class of ticket you have today. And we're just gonna go through them all for you so you can be prepared and know what you wanna mm -hmm. eat when you're on the train. First thing you need to know is you are allowed to bring your own food mm -hmm. on the train. So if you wanna bring a cooler, we oftentimes bring some subs if we're in coach class or business mm -hmm. class and just kind of bring those with us in a little soft-sided cooler, bring a couple drinks and we're good to go with mm -hmm. that. But <laughs> if you don't want to do that, here's everything you can buy or will be included in your ticket on the train. So mm -hmm. the first place you can eat is the cafe. And the cafe is on almost every train. There's mm -hmm. a couple trains like the Hiawatha uh -huh. that we've been on that don't have a cafe. And those are going to be like two hours or less, those trains. Mm -hmm. Anything over that is going to have a cafe and all of the sleeper car trains have a cafe. So everyone is available or everyone is allowed to purchase food from the mm -hmm. cafe yep and you can eat it either in your seat or in the cafe or if you're on a train with an observation car you can eat it in the observation car mm -hmm. as well so we're going to throw that menu up there for you so you can take a look at it as we uh as we go along but they do serve breakfast uh lunch and dinner and this is the breakfast menu we've got here and They've got quite a few selections, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do have selections, not just hot breakfast, but you can also have um, some oatmeal and some pastries and different things like that. So there are quite a few options there as well as like muffins. So you've got some things to pick from if you want something, you know, sometimes in the morning you want something warm, you've got that option. Or if you just want, you know, something quick and sweet like a pastry or a muffin, you can do that too. You'll notice that the hot breakfast kind of run five or six dollars mm. and the cold ones kind of run three dollars ish. Mm -hmm. it gives you an idea of what price you'll be paying if you don't bring mm -hmm. your own food. Right. And then moving on to lunch and dinner, they have kind of the same assortment of stuff. Mm -hmm. They've got hamburgers hot dogs mm -hmm. pizza uh, pizza mac macaroni and mac cheese, and cheese uh -huh. which we have gotten the mac and cheese before <laughs> we have and it's actually really good it is good we did <laughs> like that uh, i've gotten the hot dog before uh -huh. it's kind of like getting a ballpark hot mm -hmm. dog yes and that's it gonna, is a nathan's brand yeah it yeah. is and it's pretty good that's gonna run you that same six seven dollars mm -hmm. for your lunches and then cold snacks chips drinks Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be like less. a little meat and cheese tray. It's small, um, but yeah, it'll be a little bit less about what five, anywhere from $5 down to about two fifty or so. Exactly. So, uh, then you can get snacks all day, which is going to be, uh, like your M and M's and your power aids. And those mm -hmm. are all going to run you two to $3. So that gives you an idea. If two of you were to go eat in the cafe, it'd probably run you about $20. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I think. and then definitely remember that uh, Amtrak is cashless right now, so you do need to bring a debit or credit card to use. If you don't have one, uh, you'll need to make sure that you get one before you get on the train. The major stations do have a machine available right now that will convert your cash into a card that you can use on board. And the cafe also is not open 24 hours, so right. it does... There is usually one person that runs it, mm -hmm. and they sometimes often help with the dining car as well. Mm -hmm. So, or they, if they go on a meal break, they'll close it. Uh, so it's going to be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it closes usually in the early evening, mm -hmm. eight or nine o'clock, depends yes. on the train, but and the person. Uh, but don't think that that's twenty-four hours. If you need to get something, get it when they're open because they will close it a little bit later on. Yes, yes, that the, that time does vary. In the morning, they're usually open about sometime between 6 and 7. And again, listen for the announcements because they will tell you when they're closing the night before, they'll tell you in the morning I'll open at, you know, 6 or 7 or whatever. Exactly. So now moving on to the uh, dining car. The Most of the East Coast Viewliner trains are on the flexible dining system. Mm -hmm. And the flexible dining is not quite as good as a traditional dining, 
but still pretty good. And we're right. gonna show you what that is. These are basically meals that are prepared beforehand and warmed up. Mm -hmm. They're basically microwave for mm -hmm. you. Similar uh, to your airplane style food. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so these are gonna be on most of your East Coast trains. If you wanna know what your train has, you, when you when you buy the ticket, it'll give you under the dining section, you, you can click on it and see if it says flexible or traditional. Mm -hmm. So with the flexible dining, they start off with this menu we're gonna talk about now, and then on a couple of trains, they've also added, <laughs> to make it confusing. Just a, to give you a twist. <laughs> a new flexible dining, mm -hmm. so we'll go over that as well. So And, we, and you, there's no way of knowing which one of the two you're gonna get. If you're in the flexible dining, there's a couple different menus. So there's not really any way that we know of yet of knowing yeah. which one you're going to get on your train. So yeah, they don't <laughs> tell you on the ticket whether you have new flexible or flexible, it's mm -hmm. just flexible. And a lot of the meals are the same. So uh -huh. <laughs> uh, with this first one, you're gonna have a continental breakfast and you're gonna be able to get oatmeal, muffins, cold cereals, mm -hmm. uh, breakfast bars, yogurt, and a breakfast sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's good about the flexible breakfast? Um, what I do like about it is they actually give you an assortment of things. So even if you get, say, just the hot sandwich, they will still give you like uh, one of those uh, like kind bars, energy bars of sorts. You get that, and sometimes they'll even throw in a muffin. You can actually get as much as you would like at breakfast. They do give you those options. Um, having cold breakfast from the cold cereals or if you would like a yogurt as well, you can get a couple different options there as well as some, uh, if you're looking you know, for the hot, you can have the sandwich or the oatmeal. So there's really a good selection, I think, of things to, to get. Exactly. And then for the entrees, you'll have the same choices for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they kind of take some on and put new ones off. So. Even if you see a menu on one train, the next train, they may say, Might be we different. don't have the enchiladas, <laughs> mm -hmm. we have this instead. So uh, you gotta kind of take that, it's, it's a little mm -hmm. flexible. That's, yes. that's why it's flexible dining. <laughs> you uh, have to stay flexible. Stay flexible. <laughs> uh, but basically what you'll get with the flexible dining is the uh, braised beef, you'll get the enchiladas, the chicken marsala, uh, shrimp and lobster sauce, Asian noodle bowl, chicken fettuccine, creole shrimp and andouille, and the pasta and meatballs. What's yes. your, what's your go-to there? <laughs> well, you know, I like a lot of variety, but my favorite is actually the enchiladas, which is their vegan kind of healthy option. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty tasty. So I like to yeah. get the, the enchiladas, not because I'm vegan or whatever, but it just I just think it tastes the best. It's one of my favorites. My go-to is the pasta and meatballs <laughs> and the Creole shrimp yes. and andouille, which are both, both really excellent. Uh, so we love those. The other thing you need to know about flexible dining is that, and this also goes for traditional dining, mm -hmm. is that it is not available to coach passengers right now. The dining car is not. It is only available to sleeper car passengers and it is included mm -hmm. in the price of your ticket. So you don't need to pay any extra. We're not going to give any prices because there aren't any prices. Right, for these. there are no prices. <laughs> you either can get this or you can't. And you yes. can eat this either in your room mm -hmm or you can go to the dining room and get it. So a lot of people wonder, how do I get my reservations for this? Your Either your either your uh, room attendant or the dining car attendant mm -hmm. will come through and make a reservation. And sometimes they will ask you what you want so they can get it prepared. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they just find out when you get to the, to the dining <laughs> car. Surprise. So they, they all do it differently mm -hmm. a little bit. And uh, you know that's just the way it is. So yes. You just kind of go with what they're doing. Yeah, so. and now keep in mind also with these meals, so those are the entrees that um, you just mentioned. You also do get a roll and a small salad um, with mm -hmm. this meal, and then you also get your choice of dessert, which the options for the flexible dining, regardless of which one, of the two flexible dining you get, is the same. It's a, a like a toffee bar brownie, a regular brownie, um, and then on some trains, you can get the uh, sugar-free pudding um, or the cookie, but m pretty much you can count on those two brownies, either the blondie or the regular brownie. So those are your options there. Yeah, and you have all the drinks available that are available mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. from the other 
uh, from the cafe. Yes, all water, soda. soda, water, juices, and those are unlimited to you. Um, if you are in a sleeper car, you do also get included with your meal one alcoholic beverage per person per ride. So it's not for every meal; you only get one. So if you're going the California Zephyr, you're going to obviously have several meals. You only get one free one. You can, however, purchase more alcoholic beverages. Okay, so moving on from the flexible dining, we have the new flexible dining. So <laughs> I think what happened was there was a little bit of backlash. There mm -hmm. was some things that people didn't like about the flexible dining menu. So now we've noticed on a few trains, <laughs> they don't call it the new flexible dining. They just still call it flexible dining. Mm -hmm. But it's a new flexible dining because a few things have been improved. Mm -hmm. uh, so and with, they are really good improvements. They are good improvements, yes. yeah. So <laughs> one of those things you'll see right at breakfast is... If you see the railroad French toast or the three egg omelet on your breakfast menu, you have the new flexible dining. <laughs> because people did not like the yes. breakfast sandwiches as the only hot option. Mm -hmm. And so what they did was they brought back some of this uh, railroad French toast, which is on the traditional mm -hmm. dining menu, and they put it on the new flexible dining yes. menu. <laughs> and I will say it is good. It is not quite as good as when you get it on the traditional mm -hmm. dining because the difference here still is it's the same food, but this is being microwaved. Mm -hmm. Whereas on the traditional dining, you're getting the same food, but it's being cooked. So that's the main yes. difference. Yes, cook to order for you when you order. So that's the great thing. It really does exactly. make a bit, and the, the three egg omelet, same thing. Um, obviously it's gonna taste a little bit, it's gonna taste better in the traditional dining, because again, it's cooked to order, and this one has been, Kind of pre-cooked and it's just being heated for you but it is really great to have those uh also hot options added and you can still get that continental you know breakfast as in the other menu um, on this one as well yeah so then for the lunch dinner choices what i noticed was they basically <laughs> took a few things away mm -hmm. because there's less choices you'll see mm -hmm. here compare it to the previous flexible dining mm -hmm. menu uh, you've got your slow braised uh, beef short ribs, your enchiladas, your chicken a la rosa, sesame glazed salmon, and pasta and meatballs. So, what is missing? Ooh, andouille sausage. <laughs> your favorite is it's missing gone. from the list. It's gone. So, if you get the... <laughs> the and, and the red wine uh, braised beef is missing, but they changed it to braised short, short ribs, ribs on this menu. Yeah. So, that's just something to keep in mind. It's still okay. I find the pasta and meatballs to be it's my... It's still there. <laughs> I go to... And the short ribs are good. I like those. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, yes. yeah. And again, on these, you do still get that roll and the little pre-made salad. You only get two dressings to choose from. That's Italian and ranch. Um, and then you also get that same dessert option. Okay. So while we have a little moment here, let's talk about tipping because I know that's going to be a uh, question. Yes, a little time out here. <laughs> tipping is something that a lot of people ask about and so for the dining we generally say uh, two to three dollars per person per meal mm -hmm. and we tip that after each meal mm -hmm. and the reason we do it after each meal... And we meal, do tip that in cash. In cash, yeah. And after each meal is because some trains you'll have two dining attendants mm -hmm. and you, if you wait till the end you won't be able to remember who did how many meals mm -hmm. and who did this. Mm -hmm. We just leave it on the table after each meal and do that. Now, for the uh, for the room attendant, we do that all at once afterwards. So uh, that's a little bit different. And for that one, we do 5 to $10 per person per night, if you're wondering. For the room attendant. For the room yes. attendant, yeah. So moving on to <laughs> traditional dining, which is the, the best experience mm -hmm. you can have dining-wise on an Amtrak train and this is the white tablecloths, this is mm -hmm. the real, real glasses, real silverware, mm -hmm. everything <laughs> is really good and it is really good. It is, absolutely. Um, it's basically the same options as the new updated flexible dining menu except everything is made to order and you can also get scrambled eggs. So the railroad french toast is there and you also have that three egg omelet. You can't, you have the opportunity here in traditional dining to ask for what you want. Like if you want the vegetables in it or if you want you know, a variety of cheeses or none or whatever, you can ask for that or if you want any meats in it. So definitely n much nicer than on the flexible where it's already just prepped for you with a set 
amount of vegetables and the potatoes on the side and you don't get any choices. Yeah. Now the other thing that's cool about this menu is for breakfast, you'll see a little section called sides. <laughs> so you can ask for hardwood smoked bacon, breakfast pork sausage links, or chicken sausage links as mm -hmm. well. So that's something you can just pick whichever one you want and those will be included. And that I find to be really excellent. Mm -hmm, that is really nice. But where this uh, traditional dining really shines is the uh, lunch and dinner. And they're actually different. So whereas with the flexible, you're getting the same thing for lunch and dinner. So mm -hmm. if you're on the Zephyr for three days and there's only eight choices or five mm -hmm. choices, well, there should be eight on the Zephyr. But yeah. you could go, th you'll be doubling up by the time mm -hmm, you get mm -hmm. there. Because you yeah. have... <laughs> Breakfast and lunch off the same menu. <laughs> On this one, you've got four choices for lunch, which is the Caesar salad, the artisan grilled cheese, the natural Angus burger, and the savory chili. Now, we've tried them all, and they're all pretty good. We have. This actually, I didn't find any of any of them to be bad. I was actually surprised that the burger was as good as it was. Yeah, it was. It was like, uh, you know, a steakhouse burger type uh, taste to it. It was actually quite good. Yeah. It, in fact, that's all I will ever get. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why am I going to get the grilled cheese or the Caesar salad when I can get the burger? That's yeah. And the, what I do, one of my favorite items is the savory chili. And you can get that either on, on a baked potato or just the chili on its own in a bowl. Up to you. Yeah. Now you could also get the children's menu. Yes, you and can. So that's the classic grilled cheese, which is different than the artisan grilled cheese, mm -hmm. just by not putting no those, meat in no it. No meat. Mm -hmm. Some people or veggies. We've heard some people just say, "Well, the artisan one isn't a grilled cheese; it's just a it's a melt." Which maybe it, <laughs> it is. is. <laughs> uh, roasted chicken breast, homestyle cheddar mac and cheese, mm -hmm. or the Hebrew National all beef hot dog. If you're looking closely, that just sounds like food from the cafe. That we mentioned earlier because it's it, kind of it the is, same, same stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but if that's what you want, mm -hmm. you can definitely mm -hmm. go for that. And then moving on to dinner, which is where it really shines. Mm -hmm. We have a lot really of really separates them from the rest. <laughs> you get an appetizer, you get an entree, you get your dessert. And with all of these traditional dining, you're going to also get your, uh, your roll and, and so forth, too. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, the appetizers, they've got a lobster crab, lobster crab cake, green chili, cheese tamale, and a mixed green salad. What's, what's the go-to? With on baby that? brie that salad has on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't leave that off. <laughs> I'm not getting it anyway, so I don't care about the baby brie. I think all three of them are great. It just depends on what mood you're in. But my absolute favorite is that lobster crab cake. It is really quite tasty, and I love it on the bed of faro. Really a, a good choice. What do that's, you like? That's good, but I go with that green chili cheese tamale <laughs> every time. And I did have a bite of his. It's really good. It is good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, and that's like the heart healthy one. I'm, let's be getting healthy. <laughs> okay, so Amtrak Entrees is going to be... Flat iron steak, mm -hmm. you got your pan roasted chicken breast, grilled Atlantic salmon, and tortellini with pesto cream. Yes, again, four really great choices. I love seafood, so the salmon is my go to here. And they actually, I've ordered it many times now, and it is definitely my favorite and my go to. Uh, to get on there and it comes with some great sides as well with some ancient mm -hmm. grains and some some uh, yeah, Veggies on the side really good meal. What's yours? Yeah, I got to go with that flat iron steak <laughs> uh, That looks good um, You know the chicken breast is good and you can mm -hmm. also get if you really wanted that burger mm -hmm. or salad you yes. could do that as well uh, you could get you get can that. get something from the lunch from menu lunch as menu. long as they have enough they will let you order something yeah. from the lunch so menu. Those are really excellent food mm -hmm. options. Um, and then for dessert, there's three choices, <laughs> which is the flourless chocolate tort, the Philadelphia cheesecake, and the carrot cake. Now, I will say, <laughs> I have ordered the flourless chocolate tort four times. Numerous times. And I have never gotten it. <laughs> so I still haven't had it. I have had 
like four different versions of chocolate cake that were not the flourless tort. Mm -hmm. But I really don't even know what the flourless tort is because it's been very elusive. And <laughs> every time I ordered, they said, well, we don't have that, but we have a different chocolate cake. Where is this flourless tort? So if you've had the flourless tort, let me know in the comments how good it is. Uh, <laughs> Send Rob a picture because, because I've had like he's very sad. He has. I've had, had like lava cake. I've had mm -hmm. other just decadent ch chocolate, regular chocolate, chocolate cake. cake with frosting. We don't know why. And so what happens we don't is have it. if they somehow there's a mix up, but they don't have this, they have extra different chocolate cakes on board, or we've even heard if they run out of food, like you're really delayed. Well, someone will go to the store and get or bring them. That's what happened with chocolate. the regular chocolate cake with yeah. frosting. That was from a delayed train we were on. It was an extra meal and somebody got off and bought chocolate cakes and brought them on board yeah. and they cut them up and served them as dessert. And that's something else to add. If you are <laughs> delayed, they do have extra meals on board. So, and but they'll be different. So we had like uh, jambalaya. Mm -hmm. and, and they had, uh, what was the other one? Oh, beef stew. Yeah, was one of them in a bowl. So those could be served out of the blue <laughs> if you're late. <laughs> if you're delayed or they've run out of food for some reason. Now the other two desserts on the list were the cheesecake. I mean, cheesecake is cheesecake. This one is actually really good. They have a couple different sauces you could put on top. Or if you're Rob, you just ask for all the sauces on top of your cake. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check out our videos and watch him doing that. And then my absolute favorite is the carrot cake. And I'm very fussy about carrot cake. Mm. It's my fa one of my favorite desserts. I only have two favorite desserts and carrot cake is one of them. And the Amtrak carrot cake is at the top of my list of ones that I enjoy. Okay, so quick tip for you. If you're on your last night of dining and, you're, and you kind of want a certain thing, you're not like totally good with everything, pick an earlier dining time because they will run out mm -hmm. possibly of some of the stuff mm -hmm. on that last night. And they might say, oh, we only have this, this, and this. But if you go at like the five or the 5.30 mm -hmm. slot, mm -hmm. they'll probably still have everything. Yes. If you go at seven, you might they, you might just be getting mm -hmm. what's left yes, on that last true. night. So keep that in mind. Uh, then another type of dining you can get is on the Acela. Now that is a completely different train mm -hmm. with completely different dining. Yes, it's its own special thing. And so this is the first <laughs> class menu. If you're in first class, this food is included. And it's gonna seem kind of familiar, but it's very good. So for breakfast, they have the breakfast box, they have the Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich, or the cheese omelet. These are all just variations of the other menus put <laughs> on the Acela. And then for the uh, afternoon or dinner, it's gonna be the same menu for both. You can get uh, a lunch dinner box, cheeseburger or hot dog, beef short ribs, shrimp and brandy lobster sauce, or awesome enchiladas. Mm -hmm. And I found, I think I got the uh, the cheeseburger Shh. last time. Did you? Okay. And it was pretty good. Uh, you know, what What did you think about what you got? Um, so I actually got the shrimp in the brandied lobster sauce instead of the enchiladas. And it was, it was quite good. I was a little bit leery about getting uh, shrimp and lobster sauce on the train. It was actually quite tasty. Now, something else to remember is that you don't get a variety of meals on the Acela. You're only going to be on there for one of these meals. So this menu has all the different options. So whatever time you're in. So the first time we rode the Acela in first class, uh, it was during breakfast time, yeah. so they served us breakfast. Then the next time, it was during lunch, so we got lunch. So it's, it just depends on what time you're riding it in first class. Most of the time, it's just going to be one of those uh, meal times. Yeah. So the other thing I want to mention is that there are also uh, meals available at some of the stations, just to be complete here. And the one that that's really most prominent at is... Uh, Moynihan Train Hall mm -hmm. in the Metropolitan Lounge. They do have hot food in there. The other Metropolitan Lounges all have cold food mm -hmm. and snacks, Quick and, snacks and drinks. So if Chips you, and crackers and cookies and just yeah. grab-and-go fruit like apples and bananas and things like that. If you have a, a sleeper car or a first-class ticket, you can go in there for free. Or if you have status uh, through the Guest Rewards Program, mm -hmm. you'll also be able to go in there and get that food, which is all complimentary, mm -hmm. and that is good. So that about wraps up 
every <laughs> bit of food that's, that's available it. on that's Amtrak. Every option you could possibly have. <laughs> and uh, we love the food. We think it's really, really good. I hope this helps you determine what you want to get and maybe even what class of ticket you want to get mm -hmm. to try that out. Mm -hmm. But I uh, hope you enjoy the food on there as much as we have. 